Well, hey guys, happy Sunday. I've been up for a little while. I'm wearing that new Aven Intense Protect sunscreen that the viewer from France sent me. I reviewed it for you all earlier this week. It has that new UV filter triazorb in it. I'm really liking it, but I was reading some reviews online. A lot of people commenting that they thought it was oily. I don't find it to be oily at all. You know, it's free of silicones and silicones in formulations often allow things to feel less greasy. They're more lightweight and allow for better evaporation of sweat. So I guess I can see how people might feel that way, but honestly, I really don't, I really don't find this sunscreen to be greasy at all. I know I'm in horrible lighting right now in my closet, but such is life. <laughs> uh, you saw me put it on earlier this morning. I'm trying, trying to decide what earrings to wear, and I think I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go with my J-Lo hoops, as I call them. I got these from Sorelli, and I've really been happy with them. They have this like, oops, they have a nice latch. I watched Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Wow. I mean, I love Quentin Tarantino, and I'm sad that I hadn't bothered to watch that movie up until this point because it did not disappoint. It actually was a little slow moving in the beginning, but in true Tarantino style, the end. Oh my gosh, he's like Tarantino films, they always end, spoiler alert, in some kind of like bizarre violent scene that's really intense, but almost over the top to the point of kind of in a dark sense being almost comedic. And that's how this was. I don't know if it's intentional and I, I don't like violence, but when Tarantino executes it, you can't help but watch and enjoy, in my opinion. That being said, I really like dark movies. So take my movie recommendations with a grain of salt because if you want to go to the movies and feel good, don't let me pick the movie. I will always pick a dark, depressing movie. And anyway, so I watched that and I also watched uh, A Clockwork Orange. How have I never watched that? So I watched that, which is incredibly violent and dark. And then I watched Once Upon a Time in Hollywood back to back. After I finished watching the two together, it was, have you ever, have you ever gone to the movies and seen two movies in back to back? And then you leave the, feel, the theater, you stand up and you almost get like a little dizzy and you feel like out of sorts. That's how I felt after this movie binge. But I love watching movies. And since the, the whole pandemic has kind of, put the kibosh on movie theaters, I had kind of been going through withdrawal, but I recently resurrected my love for movie watching by going down the Amazonian rabbit hole of Amazon videos. They have some really good ones from like the 90s and 70s and 80s and those time periods that, you know, movies that I never got a chance to watch, I'm catching up now. There hasn't been a movie out in a while that I've been like strongly compelled to see. Let me know in the I, was, I keep wanting to say the description box. Let me know in the comments if there's a movie you guys have watched recently that has been good. Anyways, <clears throat> I just put on these bracelets. A viewer sent these to me a long time ago. Well, a while ago, not a long time ago. I mean, time is relative. Um, ignore the <laughs> ignore the coffee stain on my sleeve here. Uh, she made them. She has an Etsy shop, and it says Dr. Dre. I love these. This is my little hair elastic just in case. But those of you in New Orleans, I hope you are okay. You are getting hit really hard. And a lot of people from New Orleans have evacuated here actually, have relocated here and are you know temporarily here in Houston. By the time you're watching this, it will be you know hopefully gone and we'll have some answers. So if you are, were, are being impacted by, by Ida, I hope you are okay. I hope everything is all right and you were safe. It's really scary. I can't, I can't believe it's already the anniversary of Katrina. Katrina was horrible. I knew a lot of people who were devastated by the effects of Katrina, like their homes were destroyed. Yeah, I can't believe, I can't believe it's been that long since Hurricane Katrina. Fingers crossed, you guys, that this year the weather doesn't doesn't abuse us <laughs> too much. Uh, 
uh, we've been through we've been through a lot in these past few years with everything going on fires pandemics <laughs> yeah um, anyways, one of you guys, I was talking last weekend about how I could not tolerate that Lancome fragrance. It has that metallic -y, musky scent. I mean, it's just not for me. It gives me a headache. But somebody asked, what are my favorite perfumes? 4711. See, I like old things. 4711, I love. Love it. It's just a very fresh, clean smell. And then, I really don't know how to say this, but I've been wearing it for... Since I was a little girl, actually. Anai, Anai, I think is how you say it. These fragrances by this brand, Cacarel, 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 they are good. They are a good value, actually, in my opinion, for whatever that's worth, because they smell good. They smell really good. They're not headache inducing. They have a few, actual, actually, they have a few different perfumes. This brand that they're kind of known for and this is the only one that I know of and I'm familiar with the scent like I can recognize it because I've worn it for so long but they make a few others they're really good they're really a good value in my opinion as I said in my opinion because the complexity of the scent of the fragrance that you get with these is quite good it's not headache inducing it's unique and it has good lasting power but without it like taking over a room. I happen to think the price point on these is really good too. For perfume, perfume is like super expensive. And I mean, I guess I understand why. You know, it's all about the ingredients or whatever. Yeah, I love it. And I love the bottle. to run a few errands. This is that shirt I held up yesterday that I had, when I was doing laundry, that I got at Costco a long time ago, Maddie M. One of those days where I can't decide if it's gonna be sunny or cloudy, rainy. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. <laughs> you know what it is. Yeah, that's the weather here today. Anyways, I am actually on my way to the drugstore. I think I'm gonna go to CVS. And then I have something I'm gonna take back to, I ordered off the Amazonian that I'm gonna send back. Um, so I need to stop by the UPS store to do that. I ordered this thing, it's called a gimbal. I ordered it and I just kind of impulsively purchased it. And when I got it, it was too complicated <laughs> to figure out how to work. I was like, oh, this is, we're not, I'm not trying to be Quentin Tarantino here. <laughs> on these vlogs, on these videos. I'm not. I, you know, I like to push myself and learn new skills, but sometimes I just don't have the bandwidth for for certain learning curves, and this was one of them. Because it, like, you had to download an app, like an app that has to go with the, I didn't realize it was this involved, where you have to rig up the camera to Bluetooth. I'm sure it's not that complicated. Like people who are actually into filming probably are like, really? As much as you film for YouTube, you should figure it out. But yeah, I just couldn't. I try to not 
send a lot of stuff back to Amazon because I feel like that's just a huge carbon footprint. I try and avoid. I try and be very mindful of what I buy on there, but this did not. My expectations were not what this was. The Derm meetings that I typically go to, they've all been moved over to Zoom over the past you know, two years now almost. And they're kind of trying to make a transition back to going live. And a lot of derms are like not really, and I think physicians in general are less interested in traveling as much. And from an environmental standpoint, it makes sense to keep the Zoom option. I, I, would, I hope they do keep Zoom options because just from a cost perspective, it's expensive to travel that much. Because for these meetings, I don't know, sometimes they're in cities that I'm not that interested in. You're there for the meetings, so you're not really gonna, I mean, you may be able to sightsee some, but anyways, I think for some of the meetings, like, I would just rather do it from the comfort of my living room. <laughs> but the Houston Derm Society meetings that I always go to, those have been on Zoom for a long time now. And I kind of miss those because it would always be at a restaurant in the area. It's just kind of, you know, nice. And that's not a huge, a huge investment of resources, energy, time, etc. to get to. So that, maybe they'll pick back up again. But yeah, if you go to like travel for work has that resumed for you what has it been like i haven't traveled at all this road up here it's crazy the construction that they're doing i forgot about it but there's like a massive hole in the in the street <laughs> it's insane i should have gone the other way but shoulda woulda coulda it just gives me more time to chat with you guys oh wow you can get a little travel size of the avino common restore oat gel moisturizer as well as the l'oreal revitalift glycolic acid serum both of those are fragrance free by the way all right gimbal returned at the ups store all right i swung in here to sprouts to pick up a few things i'm really enjoying that chameleon coffee a lot but has anyone tried this Death Wish coffee? Ooh, Bigelow's got caramel apple, salted caramel, pumpkin spice, cranberry harvest. These look good, but I have enough tea. I'm good. Well, my slow cooker apples are done. I let them go a really long time. It's almost like apple butter at this point. Um, but update, still loving my little lid rest my gosh where has this been all my life i have another kitchen update for you guys y'all know i'm a huge fan of these silicone gloves i use them to clean my sink but on yes style i got this little gizmo for resting them after i'm done using them so that the water let me try and do this one handed the water drips down into that little tray it doesn't make a mess all over the place Speaking of kitchen gadgets from Amazon, this is another one that I bought like almost a year ago at this point, and I adore. It is a drying rack. It's really good for kitchen knives, because I clean my kitchen knives just under running water with a little bit of dish soap, rinse them off. That way they don't get dull, and you'd never want to put them in the, you never want to put kitchen knives in the dishwasher. Anyways, I'll let them dry here, it's perfect. So earlier this week on my shorts, I shared with you guys this Biofine ACT. A viewer sent this to me. They got it while they were in France. It's one of those, you know, French pharmacy cult must-haves. But what it is is a trolamine uh, emulsion that actually has been shown to improve the rate of wound healing, post-surgical wounds. It's also used in Europe to treat something called radiation dermatitis, which is more more akin to a burn than an actual dermatitis anyways. Um, and then in lab studies, it's also been shown to increase influx of something called macrophages, which are really important for wound healing, kind of cleaning up the wound. Um, anyways, it's a really popular skincare product. It does have fragrance, which is not ideal actually for healing or to be putting on wounds because it can trigger more irritation. Aside from that, 
I can see why people like it. I still prefer Vaseline. <laughs> it's more affordable, especially here, you know, petroleum jelly, uh, for, for wound healing. Or the Cicaplast Balm, it'd be interesting to see how they compare actually that La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Balm with Centella components to this. Uh, I'd like to see more, more info, you know, more research on that, but anyways. I have to say, the fragrance is actually pretty nice. I was sharing with you guys how I like the scent of 4711. This kind of, it doesn't smell like 4711 whatsoever, but it's in that family of light, fresh citrus scents. I almost feel like when there's a scented product from Europe, it's better than a scented product here. I don't know, I think it's because they have so many banned ingredients, and of course, it doesn't remove the risk of contact dermatitis. But when I use scented products here, uh, especially like the Neutrogena Hydro Boost scented products, it's like a punch in the face. I mean, it's really, it really can be headache inducing. You know, I was giving some thoughts to skincare from the 90s, and I don't remember products being as heavily fragranced, like overwhelming. I mean, products have like a signature scent, the scented ones, but a lot of times scented products nowadays, I mean, they're really, really strong. I can't believe we're already, when you guys are watching this, it will already be September. Oh my gosh, it'll be the day before Labor Day. Comment below, are you guys doing anything for Labor Day? Um, so let me know in the comments what you guys are doing for Labor Day, I would love to know. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, bye.